He was an extremely well established farmer up here, grew pineapples. He was very prominent in the local community, heading groups for citrus growers, petitioning people in the southern states to have the freight taken off. He would, he would have grown to be a prominent member, I'm sure, of the Umundi community. He had an interest, obviously, in politics and in doing things for his community. It's significant, his loss. His father was in the first parliament of Australia. So they were a very community-minded family. But even though they were amongst the influential people of the district, they lived in very basic accommodation in, in Umundi, like uh, Clarence Colpin's house was a, a slab hut. Clarence Colpin was in a group of nine that Lynn listed together and they had a beautiful evening for them up at the uh, School of Arts. They had a dance, they had music, people made patriotic speeches. The chairman of the Marucci local uh, recruiting committee was there and they farewelled these men in style. Of those nine, three did not come back. Clarence was 36 years of age, where the average age was probably in the low 20s. So he was quite old. He was probably called Grandad or something like by his friends in, in the, the army. 90% of the time that he was over in France, he was out of the line through illness. Continual infections, like skin infections, abscesses, plagued him throughout his army career because all they could do was treat the symptoms. They couldn't alleviate the germ that was in his bloodstream because there was no modern antibiotics. In 1918, in April, he was killed in action um, by shell fire and he left all his property to his father, Dr Culpin. They had a, a tree planting presentation where several of the men had their trees memorialised and he was one of them. The weather in Umundi prior to this ceremony was, was very poor and despite the terrible conditions, 70 people turned up for this tree planting, including Dr Culpin making the long journey from Brisbane. It's ironic that the men who had been farewelled in the School of Arts at Umundi were now farewelled again in another poignant manner in as much that they had attended the tree ceremony, speeches were made about these men and then everyone came back to the uh, School of Arts and had um, refreshments and talked about their loved ones who had passed.